What's up people, my name is Cappy and welcome to part 7 of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. In the last episode we have headed to drop Norbert off to Charlie, up, so let's continue. Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. Okay, so I, I don't think I should go too near. Hmm. How do I get up there? Maybe not. Phew. That was easy. He's gonna follow us in all the rooms. going to be interesting making sneaky attacks where is he pray i don't find you my stealthy little student I can't believe we actually can't see us up there when we are asking spells. And when I do, you'll regret it. Whew. Now, how can I get up there? Phew, that was close. I nearly walked into him. And we made it.
It's good that he doesn't have his cat yet. We'll first get used to avoiding Filch and then we can think about the cat. How do I get to this? Slime, I'll catch you. Yes, I will. Uh. 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 Uh, okay. Harry Klein and jump. Phil is going to be here. Oh. 
What should I do, guys? Why am I whispering? No, 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 no. Well, well, we are in trouble now, aren't we? Phew. Do you think I'm blind? I'm not letting anyone into that tower tonight. Well, I'm gonna. Okay, so he isn't moving. Hmm. Maybe if I can distract him. Thieves, you'll be banished for this. That could come in handy if I have to distract Filch along the way. Ah, we made it. Wait, is it done? It's done. And there's Charlie. Ron's brother, Charlie, had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. We have to get back. It's going to be Mr. difficult Norris, getting down. I could have sworn I heard footsteps in here, but yeah, blah. let's check the library, my sweet. I thought I could get past it like that only. Aha! I've heard you for sure this time. Quick, Mrs. Norris. You keep watch from above. You'll not get past me now, you rotten little gutter snipes. Watch your language, Filch. Why can't I use all these passages? Intruder! 
Intruder in the Forbidden Corridor. What are you doing here, Nick? Hello again, Harry. Oh, stop yelling. How's the bean collecting? Friend George are up to their usual tricks, I presume. It's not really a good time to I chat. I heard about your Quidditch victory. Yes, well done, Harry. On to the cuppy, what? What the hell was that? Oh, is he showing us the way? Okay then. Intruder! Intruder! In the forbidden corridor! Uh oh, oh god, no. Phew. That was so close. I'll catch you, and when I do, you'll regret it. Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? I like how Dumbledore knew all along what we are up to and still he didn't say anything to us. Filthy whelps gave us the slip, Mrs. Norris. I've locked the only door out of here for the sake of me nerves. Stay here and watch the library for a bit, my dear.
Makes an awful racket. You take that side of the room, and I'll take this one. You'll catch you, Mrs. Norris. Intruder! <laughs> Should I go all the way over there just for one bean? We have to do it four times, I think. Uh oh. Blah. Where is he? Pray I don't find you, my stealthy little student. Thank you for opening the door. And the cat is not going to move, is she? Oh, okay. Let's see. What do you think about that, Mr. Norris? Really? Even in the forbidden corridor? And Filch is looking for me and not for these two. Oh, we have to make it quick, come on. These two are actually pretty scary. You'll never know what's gonna happen. Us. Ah, that's it. 
it. That's all the beans we need. Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Thanks, Harry. We really needed these. That's Remember, a lot. you don't know anything about us collecting beans. It'll I actually be our don't secret, know why right? you guys are collecting beans. Come on, George. We've got work to do. Hopefully, we'll find out in the end. Oh wait, I can't go there. Okay. I guess time to head back. Searched the secret of the Philosopher's Stone. It could produce the elixir of life, a potion that would make anyone immortal. No wonder someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Hermione suspected that the package Hagrid had taken from Gringotts contained the Philosopher's Stone. It was the Philosopher's You're right, Stone Hermione. That I'm proud of you. Forbidden corridor, being guarded by whatever it was that had growled at them. Snape's been acting very suspicious lately. He may be planning to steal the Philosopher's Stone. But there's no way Snape would try anything while Dumbledore's around. But Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of Magic in London. That must mean that tonight's the night. Let's go! What about Filch? He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances, then. <sighs> it looks like Filch is somewhere else tonight. Wait, what? How did she do that? Come on, let's go! Okay guys, I think that's it for this episode. I think we are very near to the end. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, take care.